back again with another uh, contest vid response for CFJ, Dr. Shivago Fan Jason. Uh, the best comeback. And again, since I am not normal by any stretch of the imagination, this has been said time and time again to me. Uh, he says he wants you to do either like a big, the, something you remember, comeback story from, uh, uh, sports, could be local, could be regional, could be, uh, icky witch, yuck. Yeah, which is baby. And that, uh, or it could be NFL, NBA, or whatever game. But, again, in typical Amish slash Scott, Doomsday Dave uh, style, I'm going to deviate from the norm. I'm going to go back to last, what, last, end of this, well, 2000. 11 December right after Christmas there and uh, into January and February a little bit into March I'll go for my comeback story that and again I this is one reason why I was off I don't think I made much or any videos on YouTube and if I did I seriously don't remember making them in that time frame uh, I'd gotten sick I started feeling ill, I'd, again, busting balls before the holiday season to uh, just work, build up some funds for Christmas, all that fun stuff. So, constantly working. Um, what, Christmas, we have our like, family get-together, what is it, Christmas Eve? Must have been 23rd? 23rd, 24th, whatever Saturday before Christmas was last year. We had that. Didn't feel all that well out there. It's, Nothing terrible, but I just didn't, I, something didn't seem right. Christmas came, I'm like, man, that's, I think I put up the Christmas because that might have been what I put up last year. And then, uh, other than that, I mean, I was okay that day. Then, like, the next day, I think I head off, and man, I just start feeling like shit. Oh, I haven't felt this bad in a while. And, uh... Missed probably about a week of work, which, again, before that, I think I'd missed one day due to illness in seven or eight years, seven years, that uh, <clears throat> had something happen. Oh, wait, we're sort of the same situation where uh, just got, felt like death, pretty much felt like death. Little did I know that wasn't feeling like death. Uh, but got over that or whatever the flu I thought it was a flu and then, again I, I still don't know what that was because I didn't go in I just tried to recuperate saltines uh, water chick usually it was ramen chicken ramen or broth chicken broth and then that was it uh, hot showers at night before I went to bed, just to get the body warm and try to flush out some of the mucus, which I had been, I had sinusitis, which we'll get to that in a minute, but I had battling that unknowingly for uh, nine months, since March, the end of March of 2011, 2012, whatever, 2012 last year, <clears throat> no, it have been 2011, again, last year's have been a pretty much a blur. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, Jason. Uh, that, uh, so went back to work. It would have been, what, the 2nd? 2nd of January. It would have been a Tuesday. I, I still felt somewhere. It wasn't 100%, but I made it through whatever, the 7-8 hour shift. And I'm like, okay, that, that, that was okay. Got home. Okay, whatever. And, uh, the next day, we got our freight in the, the night before, 
I was there on whatever four four thirty in the morning for work and broke I was breaking down a pallet of freight in the back and I never felt I mean I was trying to go as quickly as I can and I was just sweating. I mean like I was running a marathon in the Philippines where it just felt like I was I was sweating a ton too because I'm like man and even the guy that I mentioned in like Seven's uh, hey, thank you that I mentioned in uh, Seven's contest there the guy that I work with and watch wrestling with uh, he's like man you don't look good you're all pale and like, I don't feel like I feel like shit I mean I'm, I'm ugh. I feel terrible so I made it through the day after it was it was a slow trudge through that day but I mean, I just, I did, oh, man, something's wrong here, where I, I mean, this wasn't like the flu kicking your butt, this was something else, so what, the next day was a Thursday, must have been another 7 to whatever shift, 7 to 2, 7 to 1, 7 to 2, uh, that, uh, got up for work, had some, I think, like a little glass of Tahitian treat before I went there, and I just something with that didn't agree immediately. I th just threw all that up, and there was just a, I had the worst headache I've ever had. I took I think three Excedrin with the Tahitian treat. Uh, all that came up. Doubled over in pain. It's like somebody. Wow. Wow. But, uh, free throw in one of these games I'm watching is just absolutely atrocious. Sorry to get off subject, but my god, that was brutal. Um, doubled over in pain. Went to the ER. That, uh, they're just like, oh, that, you might have the flu, you might be a little sick or whatever. And I'm like, whatever. Because Teresa called the boss if he's not coming. He's in the ER. He's puking. And again, they're just like, man, something. They're thinking now, too, something's going on. Because, again, I'm, I don't miss work. I don't, people will call in for, <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sick. I have to go home. No, that's not how I roll. It's, unless you're, you pretty much can't stand up. Or you're puking all the time. Or you're, it's coming out the other end. You go into work and. Put your time in. Uh, so the next day it was the same thing. So that would have been the second or third doctor I'd seen, and uh, <coughs> in what two two days then? And they're just like, well, if anything's wrong, come back again Monday, Sat Saturday, and Sunday. I had to work Saturday. I called in again because I was just. Horrible headache. Advil didn't work. Excedrin didn't work. Aspirin didn't work. Generic ibuprofen didn't work. Any cold medicine I took didn't work. Uh, I could not hold down any food at all, no matter what it was. Saltines, something basic. I was throwing up water. I drink water. I'd throw that up. I couldn't hold down anything. Um. So Monday was the same thing. That most of the day, I mean, I was still bad, but I didn't feel as bad. And then at night, I remember because it was uh, uh, eight-ish or so, ER again, and I mean, I I literally felt like dying. Literally, I noise noise was killing me. Lights were killing me. I, I I just I wanted to close my eyes and the, even then it was just a, it was a thumping of the drum. Was somebody thumping that drum in your head gave me morphine there again and said you might want to go home and because you're gonna fall asleep and because I felt like I was sleeping there and again all all this time vomiting all this stuff whatever uh, just feeling like death like the Grim Reaper was banging on my door like a horror film. <clears throat> like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and he was, he was gonna come in and he was gonna get me. Uh, the next day, 
We went down to Duluth because they set up an appointment down there. I got checked out. I found out I had sinusitis because I had been coughing a ton. A ton of mucus that just tasted like ass. The nasal cavity thing here was clogged up completely. So I got at least prescription for that. And we were thinking that's what it is. Okay. That we're good. Still felt like I couldn't even look. I couldn't even open my eyes on the way down because my right eye was crossed from the pressure in my head. Um, but when we got back, found out too that, and again, this, this is sort of, I didn't say this in the Stotty Boys video response because I didn't want to have that go for a half hour, but found out from my mom that my grandpa died uh, that morning. She got in a call before she came picked us up because I couldn't drive. <clears throat> I could, I... I'd have to cover my eye like this, which I did later on to go to Chicago. Get to that in a moment. But, uh, anyway, rambling on, um, found that out, and it's just like, well, what's next? I mean, we're nine days into the new year. Oh, happy new year. What? No. This is the worst new year ever. And, uh... So we kept, or I kept missing work. I mean, I couldn't even, I'd just sit there. They told me not to take Excedrin. My headache was nonstop. Naomi, I couldn't see and talk to her. Cause she's out, she was running around and babbling and mumbling and whatever. But Teresa kept her away from me because I just, I basically sleep all day. I slept, I know, whenever the 49ers and Giants played, which would have been a little later on. <clears throat> after like another week, week and a half, I woke up, I want to say 8, 8 or 11 in the morning, went to the bathroom, threw up, I woke up, I think at 8.30, 9, at night, whenever to catch like the overtime part of the game on the radio, I heard that, and then I went back to sleep for another 12, 14 hours. <clears throat> And this whole time, I mean, there's, I tried, tried to go to work, I think, once to order, and the people there were just like, holy shit, you look awful. And they're like, what's wrong? I'm like, I have no idea. I have sinusitis and I know that much. Like, you're getting better? I'm like, well, the coughing is, but everything else isn't. So eventually, it was like the 24th or whatever, January, went back down to Duluth doctor the ear nose throat specialist like hey you're you're good your sinusitis is gone but uh he's like and then I'm like what do I still look like shit to you and he's like pretty much he's like have they done anything up there I'm like no their doctors up here just did nothing which again I'll get to a little bit of that in a minute but uh It's like, well, I'm going to send you down to the ER. I'll tell him you're coming down there and have them take a look. Because, again, that's out of his, my, what he said, my, but meaning his. Uh, not jurisdiction, but his uh, profession or whatever. Have them take a look and hopefully get you fixed and whatever. So, six hours of ER testing, including a spinal tap and, what, being in a CAT scan and uh, x-rays, all that stuff. I couldn't walk around. I had to be wheelchair or on the gurney everywhere just because I could not walk. I mean, I literally had to have somebody either supporting me or, I mean, in a wheelchair because I, my eyes were, and my right eye was crossed <clears throat> and I everything was just terrible. Show the picture. Who's that? Um. What time of year? Christmas? Yeah. Christmas? Yeah. Uh. You got a while for Christmas. But anyway, after six hours, six and a half hours or whatever it was, finally put me in a room, quarantined me from seeing her because they didn't, they didn't know 100% what it was either there. That, uh, 
I said it was probably uh, viral meningitis that because I didn't have a fever which I know again they, they gave me a number I don't remember or recall I know it was a lower number but of all the cases that's one in what like a 300 a year or whatever that you don't have the hey the the fever that it's like the telltale sign but anyway ramp hey you can, you can stay there but no talking but uh so I stayed in the hospital for what for Three, no hey I just said quiet for what four days um I read the hell out of me still had the I mean I felt better and they're like this is gonna be a while before you get better and they said thankfully it wasn't bacterial or I'd be dead 10 days and I'd be dead so <clears throat> eventually got better had to drive to Chicago for Teresa's visa thing Waffle. uh no I quiet told you three times now sit down that uh had to drive down there because she doesn't have her license so I had to drive to Chicago with I don't have one with like a winter hat like this one eye all the way down there and I'm up in Ely Minnesota up in the little let's see if I can make the, in the Minnesota and it comes up and there's like the little the little arrowhead I'm up in that part to get to Chicago so I'm just about crashed once got a speeding ticket all that fun stuff but uh Also had to get a spinal tap one week after uh, I had the one down there, maybe. So two spinal taps in one week, and that one took nine times to get in. It's fun. But uh got better. My vision actually improved. I had to get new glasses. I had probably the same glasses for about four years. I went in to get those after all the vision uh, got better said my vision has improved which is incredibly rare for that so again I'm here today pretty much one year later alive through the grace of God and people praying and because I know Teresa had sent out a text to I don't know how many guys in the YouTube community the people I guess I had numbers of I just told her uh, back then send a text let them know what's going on because again we didn't have the net then, or I'd, I was at the library a lot, <clears throat> and I wouldn't go on blog. I didn't really do, I commented some videos back, but uh, other than that, uh, just let her know everything, what was going on and all that, and I know some folks sent some well wishes my way, again, I thank you for that, the prayers, all that stuff, because, again, without them, I wouldn't be here, and you wouldn't be able to hear me ramble for another goddamn 20 minutes. Uh, uh. Oh, I just farted. Um, but that's it, Jason. Uh, hope this fits in the guidelines of your contest. Uh, <coughs> hopefully nobody has to take a sleeping pill tonight. They can just watch this video and watch the other one for Stotty Boy. Uh, so, that, it, that is it. So, take her easy, YouTube. If she's easy, take her twice. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years, rocking my peers.